Do you? I well, I would say the the closest thing in America we have to a boomerang is a frisbee. And in college, I really wanted to have, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought a quintessential part of going to college was playing frisbee on the quad. And so I would try to enroll or just get people interested in these frisbee games on the quad. And I guess because part of me is very annoying, but also very uh, persuasive. I eventually assembled like a very large group of people to play frisbee with me, which was Mm. fun. I just like throwing things in the air and watching them go. How'd you persuade so many people? Uh, well, it took me, you know, to persuade about five people, five close friends, and then people would walk by and would say, oh, are you playing Frisbee on the quad? And I think it like, it unlocked kind of like a childhood wonder of like, oh, what is this? Like, we can play Frisbee again. Like, I don't know, even now as an adult, I look at that and I say, you know, like, that's such a cool thing like even I just love also flying kites like it's just, I look at it and I say that's so cool like who thought of doing this as a recreational thing but at the same time what a cool recreational thing do you mm. feel this way <laughs> so those first five people how hard or easy was it to get them on board oh it was difficult it was so difficult <laughs> no one wanted to play for we some cut to <laughs> uh Stacy in college with her uh with her uh, roommate in her dorm hey Aaron I see your uh don't some... don't I don't know what scheme you have today but I just want to get an A in science class and I know you're here to distra distract me Aaron, come on, I, I live here. I live in this room. Every time you come in and there's some new thing, I've been trying to get reassigned to a new roommate for months. Every time there's some big, I don't know, you're just like a, a void of drama and, and honestly some whimsy and it might be fun in another instance, but I am in a very, very hard uh, um thesis right now okay and i need to get a good grade in order to get a good job and i need to um write a whole paper on um centripetal force and it's it might sound like a simple concept but it's actually there's a lot to it the deeper you dive into it and i'm trying to pull all my sources right now and i don't have time for whatever uh, sense of childlike wonder you're gonna pull me into now last week it was the apple juice scheme where the lunch lady ended up getting arrested and it was interesting but i failed okay and now i gotta take biology all over again i'm sorry look i i don't mean to be mean but you know i i put up the sign up sheet you know i put up the sign up sheet i i tried to say we were gonna treat this dorm room as uh, some sort of like study room. And I put up the sign up sheet and I said, today's Aaron's day. Okay, I, I blocked up four hours and I thought you were gonna respect that and you haven't. And you, you've, you're you interrupting my time. Well, to be honest, I didn't even read the sign up sheet and maybe that's my problem, but now I'm looking at it and I will quietly sit on my bed and wait until you're done. I don't believe that. If, 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 I, if I had my druthers, you'd be outside because I know somehow just by you sitting there, it's going to rope me in. But fine, at least you're compromising. And maybe that was my fault about the sheet. I kind of made that a big deal in my head and didn't really relay any of that information to you. I just hung the sheet up. So No, didn't. I didn't even read the sheet, but now I'm reading it. And you know what? I'm going to start working too. Okay. Don't expect me to ask any follow-up questions because I'm not interested in what you're working on. Okay. Okay. You are a theater major, right? What? I am a theater major, yes. Mm. Okay. Aaron, thank you for remembering. That's so no. kind of you. Just, well, yes. We'll end the conversation there and we can both silently, without any disturbances, do our work. Okay. We're a theater major and I'm a science major. And that's fine. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, it is just, there is one way I've been thinking about. This might be a bad idea. Never mind. What? Tell me, Aaron. Aaron, tell me. Aaron, tell me, please. Please tell me. Come on, Aaron. You got this. Just tell me, please. please. Okay, okay. I'll tell you. Okay. It's just all my instincts say not to do this and to go against this, but there's, there's a, for this thesis from instant tripetal force, there is a potential option of, you know, putting on a little play. And I think I might get some sort of creative effort because I honestly think I'm kind of drowning here. But if I put in some sort of, you know, uh, judge it up a bit, I might bake me up from an A to, uh, from a B, from a- Oh my a God. So I, we can do a play together. I already regret this. Already no, regret. this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I've been putting on plays since I've been four years old. I know. I, yeah, I could tell you have a lot of spirit for, it, but you're just, it's, I, I just wanted it to kind of be like a simple little thing. Like I can just, you know, I feel like you're getting too excited over this. Okay. You put the, just put that top hat back in the closet. There's no way a top hat is. We need props and costumes. No, I we just have canes and top hats. I, I just was thinking like a simple, like a, like a motto scene, you know, with no, uh, no props. It's, we can mime everything we need to. Aaron, you're just using like a the dinner lingo. with Andre type of thing. What? You're using the lingo. You just use mono scene, meaning that some of my work is seeping into your work. A little well, that's bit. only because I, I stay awake most nights trying to sleep and you're just singing constantly about, and you're just, you, most people uh, will, <sighs> I, I, you tire me. I'm sorry. What if we created a parody song? Do you like Tegan and Sarah? No. I don't Why like. Do we, well, you don't, don't like, like them at all. For indie music, no. I like math rock. I I don't know math rock, but it sounds fun. Why it's don't just we, sort of intricate signatures and um, sort of uh, it's idiosyncratic time signatures and uh, an interesting type of thing to listen to. It's great for studying. We could create a parody song based on the song Closer by Tegan and Sarah, where we could just change up some lingo a little bit okay, and say, I... it's centrifugal force. It's... Okay, damn it, I knew, damn it. I knew you were gonna throw me into some whimsical thing and that I'm sure it's a terrible idea. And see, this is why I didn't watch you because you, you rope everyone in with your sense of whimsy and wonder and your cute little ideas. I, that's a terrible idea. But now that I have that stuck in my head, I can't say no. It's not that. So I'm gonna gr regret this, and I'm gonna start drinking. You're drinking, yeah. Let noon. me drink too. No, no, no. I we're drinking for different reasons. I'm drinking to deal with you, and you're drinking just to make this whole thing crazier. Never drink alone. That's what they say. I think. Okay, well, I'm drinking a Bud Light. You just took out straight scotch and started swigging from the bottle. This is my celebratory scotch. I, I drink this whenever I'm about to put on a new show. Which is like every week. Yes. <sighs> it's All right, just please, okay. Force. It's centrifugal force. Okay, I do love that. I do love that. Thank you. Okay, but I, I, we need to, in this book, hello? Oh God. I'm here. I'm <laughs> here. Okay. In this performance, we need to actually put some some substance in it and, and actually teach. I'll put substance. I'll put so much substance in. Aaron, I'm going to put substance in. I'm going to put so much substance Hunker in. Hunker down and stop drinking and, and, and put some actual work into this. Do you want to play Frisbee with me? No. What? No. This is a great way I get the creative ideas flowing. Just get out in the fresh air, throw the disc around, catch it, throw it back, see what words come out. See how your body Okay, moves. okay, okay, yes. 
On one condition, you and be honest with me, okay? I'll be honest. Come here, look at me. I don't mean this as a sexual thing. You know that I'm gay and you're a lesbian. So this is purely I know. my eyes looking into your eyes, trying to discover your inside truth. Here and I, I am. Just tell me right now. Look I at me. like your aftershave. Thank you. You're welcome. You're tell welcome. me. Stop. Okay, I'm you're sorry. making this okay, weird. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell Just me. you. Tell me that this whole thing isn't just a way for you to rope me into playing frisbee and we're going to cut to a week later when my project is due and nothing will be done because we just played frisbee for the entire week. Aaron, I didn't even know you were going to ask me for help with your project. I know, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe you walked in here trying to figure out how to rope me in to playing frisbee with you. And this is just an opportunity that stumbled in your lap just by the way you're laughing. I, just, I don't like my odds here. Uh, well, I didn't want someone to play Frisbee with. Yeah. So maybe you are right, but maybe I'm a little right too. Maybe this will help. Also, isn't there something about Frisbee and centripetal? What is centrifugal force? I centripetal know that force. Centripetal. Is, yeah. Centrifugal. No, it? centripetal. Centripetal. Centripal. Centripetal. I know what this is. This is that thing that keeps us in, in place when we're on a roller coaster. I've heard of this. I, I watched this on the Disney Channel. I watched it on the Disney Channel. Watched what? A, a short film about centripetal force. Centripetal. I don't know why you're having so much trouble pronouncing. It. I lit. I maybe I'm bad at pronouncing things, but I know what this is. I've I've watched a short film about it. Okay, good. It, it it's basically imagine you have a, a long board and you have a rock in the middle like a seesaw, and the centripetal force is how much force you have in the middle. Uh, and then on each end, if you have a certain amount here, it's what sort of makes it go from the left to the right. If you needed to, let's say, jump from one rock to the other and you had a sort of board in the middle, it's sort of seesaw-ish the way you put a certain amount of force uh, on one that propels the other side to help you get that leverage in order to jump. And also uh, there's a speed factor too that comes in where how fast you go to that said board uh, it helps with how much leverage you have in order to see how high you can jump. And there's a mathematical theory. It's A over B equals C squared. Aaron, oh my gosh, you must have a 4.2. You're so smart. I had a 4.2 before we started, you moved in and now I have a 3.1. Well, that's still really good. That's, it's, that's average. You are not average. A 3.1, are, those are Bs. Bs are not average. Bs are above average, an abbreviation for above. I Again, I appreciate your whimsy, but that's not how things work in the real world. All right, I'm down to play Frisbee with you, okay? I will go <laughs> play Frisbee with you, but I'm going to tie this red string on my finger. Uh huh, and that is going to help us every time I spin the thing to remember that we're not just playing frisbee. We are doing this to prepare for the show. For our show, yes. Okay. Let's and bees are average. Cs are average. In the real world, bees are average. Well, you're always. I take everything past fail. <laughs> I've only ever passed. <laughs> I can tell. Is that how the theater program works? It's really pass fail, or that's just a, a, a Stacy? That's just a me decision. That's a me decision right there. Gotcha. We cut to her talking to her uh, science teacher. Uh, so you know you're getting a, a D. That's that's uh, I rarely give any students Ds, and it's it's basically enough. It's bad. That's what I'm saying. Stacey. Well, I'm taking everything pass fail. So have I passed or have I failed? No, this isn't a pass fail course. That's not how it works. You, you have a D in the class. There's, it's not pass. It's not pass fail. The your other classes might have been pass fail, but this one is is science, and it's science one hundred and one. There's really no pass fail about it. It's it's meticulously graded, and I've I've brought out the whole um, rubric right here and exactly uh -huh. how many points you get. Okay, Mr. Singer, 
we have to come to some sort of uh... please call me professor singer okay uh professor singer do you want to play frisbee with me no Miss, uh, professor, listen, I, I come to you every day during your office hours. You seem to always be in this office. That must be it's just so lonesome, right? You don't even have a window in here. And it, can I tell you something? I'm, wait, I'm waiting to get tenure and they'll give me a window. And I've got one more year and I'm just kind of waiting out. And yeah, it's been a tough nine years. Professor Singer, you deserve tenure. You're, I haven't told you this, but you're my favorite professor. You know, there's something about you that makes me inherently not trust you. And I feel like you're a very manipulative person. And I really came here just to talk about your grades. I mean, you, like you you got some negative points just for not even writing your name on the top of a few quizzes. A few quizzes. Okay, well, let's come to some type of compromise. If I, if I write my name on top of a few quizzes, maybe I could get a few extra points and then we can play Frisbee together and then I can help you devise a, oh my gosh, what if we wrote a musical together to present to the tenure board? I want to say no to you so badly, but there's just something about your sense of whimsy that... This feels highly unprofessional, but but just tell me what would this what would this musical look like? It could be about how much you care about your students, how much you love science. You know care. what you're talking. You I, do I love know science. you care. I know you love science. You were able to talk about it so eloquently. There must what, what is that topic you just introduced yesterday in class? Oh my god, it's escaping my mind. But centripetal force, it's my favorite topic. Centripetal. It's that's a musical word. Sam. Wait a second. Are you are you suggest hold on? Lock the doors. Are you suggesting that we do a Tegan and Sarah parody where we swap out the words for centripetal? Yes. Stacy, you might be the worst student in my class, but I think oh. you also might be a creative genius. Thank you. I think you know I that's my favorite song. I danced to that song on repeat at my wedding. know you were married well don't make this weird and yes oh, I'm, I'm trying i don't you know and i'm gonna unlock the doors i don't know why i did that that's all right that's <laughs> actually right. open the door a little bit just to make sure you know <clears throat> let's that's get outside way. go in the fresh air toss oh. the disc around we can brainstorm your musical i mean i do care about my students I've got a list of students here and they, you know, most people don't call their students in when they get a D minus, they just get a D minus. And, and for you, I called you in because I care. And I do care about centripetal force. Not a lot of people understand. It's not just a seesaw. There's a lot to it. And if any dumb motherfucker tells you that it's just a seesaw and has to do with, you know, a board and some bullshit like that, that's not true. That's a dumbed down uh, explanation of what centripetal force is. I watched a Disney Channel documentary. Everyone it saw that Disney Channel documentary. It was bullshit. No, I, it was I, dumbed I, down, Disneyfied. Well, it was for children. Yeah, it, it, it was a, it was a fucking no. That was not what centripetal force really is. Okay, it, are, it, huh? You, centripetal uh, force is is grit. Centripetal force is two objects grinding up against each other and molding the the cells of of each other in a way that springs about motion it's not just a seesaw there's a magic to it and if only we could explain that magic to people in some sort of whimsical way i love it you're a genius you know what stacy get your top hat i have it right here i carry it with me at all times but i hope you have a spare one because i'll be wearing one too yep here you go I'm envisioning it in my mind. We cut to uh, we cut to how they envision this musical going in their mind. I'm me. I'm a professor. Okay, we cut back. Okay, wow. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to do a lot of a lot of um, preparation for this because what I just envisioned in my mind was really bad. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what they call dress rehearsals and rehearsals. We need rehearsals. Yeah, I don't know why I would be saying, hello there, I'm me. I don't, I don't need to introduce <laughs> I myself. I don't know. I don't know, Professor, but 
Flat Island. Okay, hey, wait. Let's let's just sort of brainstorm here. I have some papers and papers. for you and for me, and you? then we can write our ideas and sort of collaborate back and forth. And we cut to a montage of just papers and papers. ideas and drawings and storyboarding. People come in and they're editing little things, and it just becomes this huge process. They take over. His uh, whole room is just like bombarded with like theater things and there's like people for some reason Tina Fey comes in for a second she's like huh and then all these things happen and that was all a 20 minute montage because of 20 minutes later all right I think we're ready let's envision it again okay we cut to it in their minds hello there I'm me I'm gonna tell you about to do wait actually i want to see what you were how you were going with that i that, i just let's cut back i mean okay here we go i'm thinking of it in my mind <laughs> i would love for you to tell me about centrifugal force <laughs> okay we cut back <sighs> um slightly better but still pretty it. bad I love it. Well, I just don't understand why we would say, I would love for you to tell me. We can just cut, like, you know how script writing works. You just cut to the action. We're just giving all this exposition you don't need. We well, just in you. my mind, the musicals about how your students love you so much. They want you, they don't just want you to cut to the action. They want to interact with you. Don't you want the tenure board to see that? Hmm. That's a good point. That is a good point. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I, as I thought. I, well, I thought it was very enjoyable. Okay. Well, you know what? Obviously, um, I know your methods. I know a lot about you, and I have seen you work. In your, you're a shitty science student, but you're a great theater performer. And I do know that if we want to bring this to tip-top shape, we're going to need a Frisbee brainstorm session. Yes. Wonderful. We cut to the brainstorm session, and uh, the other guy is there, too, her roommate. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Aaron, go long. Okay. Got it. Wait. Red string. We've yes. been playing for a long time, and I, I don't think I'm any better on my thesis. And why is the professor here? Hello, young man. I'll tell you why I'm here. I think there's a lot of unused potential with your, yes, I got a chair. I'm a professor. Uh, I think there's a lot of unused potential with your, your intellect, and I think it's been wasted. And Stacy told me about uh, your interpretation of what centripetal force is, and I'll say that's a shot. You can do better, kid. That sucked. It's not like a seesaw. It's nothing like a seesaw. What did you watch, like an episode of Blaze and the Monster Machines and base your theory about that? The Blaze and the Monster Machines episode where they explain the triple force is shit. And you better have a better understanding of it. And I know you do. And if we can see some of that brains come out in this play that we're about to do. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not excited. Ooh, I've been drinking a lot of uh, Bud Light. <clears throat> if we can see some of that, I'll bump your grade up from, grade up from a B to an A. And yes, your thesis that was going to be um, a play and my play for the tenure board is going to be combined together in one glorious centripetal force play and we're about to do it and we're about to do it now baby and we cut to a montage of them walking through <laughs> Tina Fey comes in for a bit of fixes her glasses it's all da -da 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 -da. top hats everywhere board centripetal force they actually get a seesaw on a rock uh, the act the voice actors for Blaze and the Monsters Machines come and explain why their explanation was was elementary at best uh and then it's that was just a five minute montage of them walking into the um uh, stage. Okay, guys, we're about to do it. We're putting on our play. All right. I'm about to go on stage. Da, 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 Oh, no, da, oh, no da, it's my worst fear. How did we get da, here? Da, we're in the middle da, of the play already? And it's so bad. It needs to be better than it was in my mind. It's exactly as bad. I don't know why I'm saying it. But I'm here and I'm me and centripetal force 
is a thing. I would love for you to tell me about centrifugal force. Okay, I will. It's not like cane. It's not like top hat in a cane and cane in the top hat. And the cane goes up and the top hat catches it. And here it goes. Cane and top hat, cane and top hat. It's not like the blaze and the monster machines episode. That was an elementary explanation at best. And here to explain it is my students. <laughs> Hello there, and I'm me, I'm a student now, and I'll explain what centripetal force is. I also have a top hat, and I also have a cane. And we cut to uh, the Board of Trustees uh, uh, meeting about um, that play and whether or not they're going to grant him tenure. <clears throat> well. Well. Well, well, well. That that was a whole lot of bullshit. It was really bad. That was really bad, but I thought it was entertaining, so I want to pass the tenure, because maybe if we pass the tenure, we'll see more plays, and I want to see more plays. You want to see more plays? Yes, I would love to see more plays. Hmm. I never saw the sense of wonder in you before, Amy. Uh, would you like to go on a date with me? I would love to go on a date with you, yes. Okay, if good. you pass this man's tenure, let's mm. all be, let's pass the tenure, let's pass well, are you it. Saying I... We're passing it, let's pass. Wait, 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 are you saying I have to, are you saying I have to choose between my uh, resistance to passing this jack off tenure and going on a date with you? I think they're related, yes. Please pass the tenure. Fine, I pass it. Yes! Yes! I get a window! A window! Huzzah! You get a window from that day! I love my students! Centripetal force for everyone! All right, that's our show. That's our show! <laughs> All right! Give it up, our Mighty Mighty School Project, everyone. Give them some love down in the comments. 